published, 2039 EDT, the 18th of April 2018, updated, 2105 EDT, the 19th of April 2018 Britain is set for another scorcher today as temperatures are expected to reach 80 F. 27 C, after sun lovers flocked to parks and beaches to make the most of the hottest April day since 1949 yesterday. But Britons should make the most of the second day of sunshine because rain is forecast for Saturday, and slightly overcast weather expected for Sunday. The mercury soared to 84.4 F. 29.1 C, in St. James's Park in central London yesterday as the country enjoyed sizzling heat that made the UK warmer than the Sahara on the hottest day of the year so far. The southeast of England is basking in the hottest of the weather, while most parts of England and Wales will be greeted by temperatures at least in the low 20s, the Met Office confirmed. Commuters in the capital were pictured enjoying the sunshine on Millennium Bridge this morning, although others had to cram themselves inside stuffy carriages on the tube. Temperatures were so hot that network rail had to impose speed restrictions as a result of direct sunshine which threatens to buckle rails. Hot but cloudy conditions cause few problems as the sunshine reaching the ground is weaker. Some bathers flock to the hot walls in Portsmouth this morning to make the most of the sunshine. Daisy Goodman, 21, Wright and Ally Dixon, 27, left enjoy the warm weather as they relax on deck chairs at Newcastle's Quayside Seaside on the banks of the River Tyne. Sunbathers made the most of the hot weather as they laid in London's. Greenwich Park on the warmest day of the year so far a young woman is pictured making the most of the sun on the beach in Bournemouth, Dorset as temperatures soared to their hottest level in April since 1949 there is a possibility that Northern Ireland will hit temperatures of 66 F, 19 C, while Scotland could hit 68 F, 20 C. The temperatures far exceed that average for this time of the year, which is 53 F. 11.4 C. It comes as experts warn vulnerable people to stay indoors because of high pollution levels from a toxic plume which is coming across from France and Spain, and runners planning to don fancy dress for the London Marathon on Sunday are being urged to reconsider amid warnings it could be the hottest race on record. Britain will be hotter than the 72 F. 22 C. La Guatoasis, Algeria in the Sahara Desert and the Holiday Island Bermuda, off their east coast of the USA. But temperatures will need to reach 85 F, 29.4 C, to beat the hottest April day ever in the UK, which was recorded in Camden Square in London on 16 April 1949. Network Rail said, rails in direct sunshine can be 20 C hotter than air temperature. Rails expand as they get hotter and can start to buckle. Speed restrictions are imposed as slower trains exert lower forces on the track, reducing the chance of buckling. Z. Speed restrictions into Paddington are because of the heat. Across the country, many people have been out on beaches and parks, sunbathing and making the most of the warm weather. It comes as advice from the DEFRA warned. Thursday and Friday have the chance of localized high pollution levels near east coasts of England, with isolated pockets also possible in busy urban areas in southern and eastern England. Spring scenes Two men are pictured basking in the heat in St. James Park in the capital as temperatures rise to 82 F, 28 C. Blast from the past Londoners are pictured enjoying the sunshine in Kensington Gardens on the hottest April day ever in 1949 This satellite photo reveals a cloudless Britain today after the hottest April day for almost 70 years with highs of 84 F runners planning to don fancy dress for the London Marathon on Sunday are being urged to reconsider amid warnings it could be the hottest race on record. People are pictured relaxing in the sunshine near City Hall in London. Three sunseekers are pictured basking in the heat in St. James's Park, London this afternoon where temperatures hit 29.1 C. Three-year-old Jaden Lynch eats an ice cream, left, on the hottest day of April so far in Stratford-upon-Avon, while Toby Cox, three, pictured right, builds a sandcastle on Blackpool Beach making a splash. Three friends are pictured splashing around in the fountain at Trafalgar Square, 
Central London today, splashing around. Sun seekers get some respite from scorching temperatures in Piccadilly Gardens, Manchester a couple are pictured taking shelter from the heat under a blossom tree in St. James's Park, Central London this afternoon a couple make a start on their barbecue at the Hot Walls in Portsmouth this morning as the temperatures soared across Britain Defra has warned vulnerable people to stay indoors because of high pollution levels from a toxic plume coming across from France and Spain. The government agency has warned levels will be at their highest today and tomorrow as subtropical air from the Atlantic mixes with dirty air from Western Europe. Patients with lung and heart problems have been told to avoid taking part in any strenuous activities outdoors and to stay indoors, if they have any discomfort. Defra also said asthma patients may find they need their inhaler more than usual because of the continental airflow. They also warned of isolated pockets and of moderate pollution along the coasts, and pollution from factories, power stations and vehicles can worsen problems caused by the toxic bloom. Figures show around 29,000 Britons are killed by air pollution each year, 15 times more than the amount that die in road accidents. Areas of moderate air pollution are expected across southern parts of the UK with more isolated moderate levels in the north, mainly close to coasts. Runners planning to don fancy dress for the London Marathon on Sunday are being urged to reconsider amid warnings it could be the hottest race on record. Event director Hugh Brasher said, their weather forecast for Sunday is currently predicting the hottest London Marathon on record at around 23 degrees Celsius. The previous highest temperature on race day was 22.2 degrees Celsius in 1996 and 2007. We will continue to monitor the forecast closely as we all know that weather forecasts can change. Our contingency plans for the forecast hot weather on Sunday include increasing the supply of water to all rinks stations to enable runners to douse themselves with water, increasing the number of showers on the route and increasing the supply of ice to first aid stations on the route. Most importantly, runners should adjust their goal for Sunday and plan to run at a slower pace. If they were planning to run in fancy dress, they should think carefully if that is appropriate in the forecast conditions. Meteorologist Alex Burkel said, There's a fairly good chance of 28C. There's about a 60% chance. Quite widely, we are going to see low 20s, and for many it will be a little warmer than Wednesday. St. James's Park in London and Gravesend in Kent both recorded the highest temperatures of the year yesterday, hitting as high as 24.8 C. A sunbay there is pictured making the most of the good weather in Green Park, London on the hottest April day since 1949 the deck chairs came out in Green Park, London, as temperatures soared to a sweltering 82 F in the spring sunshine cooling off. A man is pictured in swimming shorts trying to cool down in the Trafalgar Square fountain in central London people punt along the River Cam in Cambridge on what is officially the hottest day of the year so far after London's Heathrow Airport reached 78.3 F at noon today Jade Newsom, left, and Kate Whitfield, right, both 31. From London, enjoy the hot weather on Richmond Riverside today a young man is pictured sheltering from the London heat with his guitar under a tree on Primrose Hill, North London Row, row row your boat. The weather was warm enough for a row along the Thames for these two women in Richmond Hercules the Blackpool horse cools down in the sea with rider Tyrone. On what is the hottest day of the year so far a man is pictured ready for the hot weather on Richmond Riverside in southwest London with his sunglasses on and shoes off feeling hot hot hot. Workers are pictured in the sun on their lunch break in Finsbury Square, central London this afternoon people enjoy the warm weather as they strip off to sunbathe on the golden sands of Bournemouth Beach in Dorset the southeast of England will enjoy the hottest of the weather while most parts of England and Wales will bask in temperatures at least in the low 20s, the Met Office confirmed. Pictured are joggers in London this morning a couple are pictured splashing in the water of the fountain at Trafalgar Square in central London to cool down from the heat tanning time. A young woman is pictured sunning herself on a deck chair in Hyde Park, 
central London this afternoon people enjoy a picnic in London as the capital basks in an 82F heat wave on what could be the warmest April day for 70 years a girl. On the bank of the River Cam in Cambridge enjoys the sunny weather on what is the hottest day of the year so far Ruby Jennings, aged 26, enjoys a chauffeured punt trip on the River Cam in Cambridge as the heat wave continues a group of girls take a selfie on a hire boat during the hottest day of April so far in Stratford-upon-Avon tourists and Londoners enjoy second day of hot weather in street James's Park as the temperatures in the capital saw a group of men are pictured posing by the riverside in Richmond southwest London this afternoon as the sun scorches a woman is pictured sheltering from the sun against a tree in St. James's Park in central London as the temperatures sought sunglasses out. One sunbay there is pictured reading a book among the dais is in St. James's Park, central London today Britain could be set for sizzling temperatures as high as 82 F, 28 C, today, making it the hottest April day in nearly 70 years and as hot as Dubai. Commuters crossing Millennium Bridge in London today chilling out. A man is pictured soaking up the sun in Richmond, southwest London as the Mercury soared. This afternoon a swimmer goes for an early morning dip in the Serpentine. In Hyde Park, London commuters crossing Millennium Bridge in London today where temperatures are meant to be the hottest yet this year a ballerina practices on Millennium Bridge in London this morning where temperatures are meant to be as hot as Dubai Hercules the Blackpool horse enjoys a dip in the sea with rider Tyrone. On what is the hottest day of the year so far Britain could be set for sizzling temperatures as high as 82 F, 28 C today, making it the hottest April day in nearly 70 years and as hot as Dubai the average temperature in the southeast of England was a toasty 24 C, the same as Madrid. In comparison, Rome and Athens reached just 72 F, 22 C. It was not just London which enjoyed hotter than average temperatures for this time of year, with Plymouth recording 21.2 C and Cardiff at 21.8 C. Today is expected to be the hottest day of the warm spell, with weekend temperatures dipping slightly before showery outbreaks on Sunday. Competitors in the London Marathon can expect hot and humid conditions with a forecast of between 21 C, 70 F, and 23 C, 73 F. Mr. Burkle said dot there could be a shower but it's not very likely. It's not great conditions for running. In fact if any showers do come they might be very welcome, he said. A man was spotted enjoying the warm weather on the golden sands of Bournemouth Beach in Dorset today is expected to be the hottest day of the warm spell, with weekend temperatures dipping slightly before showery outbreaks on Sunday. Pictured is Bournemouth Beach today daybreaks in London as morning commuters cross London Bridge with temperatures expected to reach 28 degrees today is expected to be the hottest day of the warm spell, with weekend temperatures dipping slightly before showery outbreaks on Sunday. Pictured is London Bridge today if temperatures do manage to push to 28 C, it would beat April's high of 27.8 C, but it would still have some way to go to beat the hottest April day on record. A hot 85 F, 29.4 which was recorded in London in 1949. Pictured is London Bridge today rowers out for an early morning session on the River Cam in Cambridge. The temperatures today are likely to be the hottest of the year so far the sun rises behind Lytham Windmill in Lytham St Anne's creating a fiery sky on a warm morning on the coastal Lancashire town Richmond Green in southwest London is pictured with blue skies with sunbathers aplenty this afternoon a city worker is pictured with his shoes and tie off as he enjoys the hot temperatures in Green Park. Central London today some hay fever sufferers could be affected by high pollen counts, he added. Mr. Burkhill said, for anyone who suffers from tree pollen they will probably be feeling the effects. But that's only about 20% of hay fever sufferers. Grass pollen season comes later in summer. People across the country were pictured out in the sun enjoying themselves and sunbathing in the heat this morning. The hashtag hashtag heat wave was trending on Twitter in Britain yesterday as people reveled in the scorching temperatures. Mike Pattison wrote, the big coat has been put away and flip-flops have made an appearance, without the socks, bring on the hashtag heat wave edge or jeep orgy said, off to Portugal tomorrow and it's going to be warmer here, livid. 
Hashtag heat wave by noon yesterday the hottest place in the UK was Gravesend in Kent which had reached 72.14 F, 22.3 C, in the morning. The Met Office warned about sunburn as the UV levels are similar to that of the August bank holiday last year, which saw temperatures reach a sweltering 82.76 F, 28.2 C. There is also a warning for hay fever sufferers. Subtropical Atlantic air is arriving, but it is mixed with dirty air from Spain and France. Air pollution levels are set to hit high tomorrow and Friday in parts of the south and east, and moderate in parts of the north, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs said. People with asthma or lung and heart problems, as well as the elderly, are advised to reduce exercise levels in high pollution areas to reduce health risks, DEFRA guidance said. Pollution from factories, power stations and vehicle fumes worsens pollution from the continent. DEFRA said, Thursday and Friday have the chance of localized high pollution levels near east coasts of England, with isolated pockets also possible in busy urban areas in southern and eastern England. Areas of moderate air pollution are expected across southern parts of the UK, with more isolated moderate levels in the north mainly close to coasts. This is due to continental airflow. This is the shocking moment youngsters risk their lives by tombstoning at a notorious site known as Dead Man's Cove. Witnesses filmed the daredevils performing high-risk stunts off a Plymouth Hoe in Devon. Footage shows the youngsters plunging 65 feet into the sea close to rocks. The location where the video was filmed is the same spot where dad of three Vincent Wagstaff, 39, died from multiple injuries in October 2016. This is the shocking moment youngsters risk their lives by tombstoning at a notorious site known as Dead Man's Cove. Witnesses filmed the daredevils performing high-risk stunts off Plymouth Hoe in Devon. Simon Fewins, 44, a warehouse manager from Plymouth, Devon, was among a crowd of concerned onlookers on Wednesday afternoon. Mr. Fewins, who was with his daughter Maisie, 10, at the time, said, There was a group of teenagers, about 20 in total, a mix of girls and boys but just four lads that were jumping. All they have to do is slip, there's a flat bit you can jump from but you have to clear the rocks. If you misjudge the run up you're dead. The water, in my opinion, isn't deep enough for a jump like that. There's probably just enough water to keep them from sustaining injury. They're risking their lives in front of members of the public who don't want to see them getting squished on the rocks. If they want to do something like that, then they should jump out a plane. The area surrounding the sea wall is known by locals as Dead Man's Cove, and thrill seekers from across the country flock to throw themselves into the waters below. The deadly craze returns every year with the warm weather and coast guards have repeatedly warned against the activity. In July 2010, teenager Ben Thompson was also left paralyzed when he broke his neck in three places jumping from an eight-foot wall at the same cove. Last year, a new campaign has recently been launched by Plymouth City Council and Devon and Cornwall Police to highlight the risks footage shows the youngsters plunging 65 feet into the sea close to rocks the area surrounding the sea wall is known by locals as dead man's cove and thrill seekers from across the country flock to throw themselves into the waters below speaking at the time inspector robin loveridge said police have seen an increase in calls regarding groups of people tombstoning in the waterfront areas of the city we are working in partnership with the local authority and the waterfront bid to tackle these issues educate those individuals on the dangers and reduce the demand on the police and health staff in recent years plymouth has seen tragedy as a result of what some consider a fun activity this includes the death of a man last year as he hit the rocks jumping from the hoe foreshore and other tragic incidents where many people have been seriously injured in august 2016 a 17 year old received life-changing injuries and last year a 14 year old was described as being lucky to be a Alive following diving headfirst onto rocks and being rescued by the Coast Guard. A 1,500 mile wide front of hot air branded as the blowtorch will reportedly see the hottest April day in a decade before heating up later on in the week. The high pollen levels across Britain today. Hay fever sufferers have been warned of high pollen levels as spring arrives in Britain.
a pollen bomb is set to bring misery as flowers bloom all at once. The Met Office's John West said, with these higher temperatures and an area of high pressure in charge, pollen levels are going to be higher than average, affecting those with hay fever. Tree pollen, affecting one in four of Britain's estimated 18 million hay fever sufferers, will be prevalent. Mr. West said, hay fever traditionally develops in school age youngsters or during their teenage years, and these groups are more likely to visit a GP with symptoms rather than using over the counter treatments. Caused by an allergy to pollen, the condition is estimated to affect about 1 in 10 Britons and Americans. Grass pollen is the most common cause of reactions and tends to affect sufferers between May and July. Tree pollens tend to be most active from March to May and weed pollens from early spring to early autumn. Symptoms include sneezing, a runny nose and itchy eyes. DEFRA guidance for high air pollution said, adults and children with lung problems and adults with heart problems, should reduce strenuous physical exertion, particularly outdoors. People with asthma may find they need to use their reliever inhaler more often. Older people should also reduce physical exertion. Anyone experiencing discomfort such as sore eyes, cough or sore throat should consider reducing activity, particularly outdoors. Around 29,000 Britons are killed annually by air pollution, 15 times more than the 2,000 who die in road accidents, Department of Health backed research shows, with temperatures expected to hit a scorching ATF, the bookies have slashed the odds into just one quarter that Thursday notches up the highest temperature of 2018. And the scissors have also been taken to the price that a whopping 86F, 30C, is reached, 6 fourths, anywhere in UK. It's also now a six-fifths shot that despite its sodden start, this April takes home the accolade as being the warmest ever. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes said, The gorgeous weather has got us feeling flush and we've been forced to slash. The odds of the sunshine sticking around. Bosses ought to expect workers to be pulling sickies left, right and center this week as the mercury rises. Supermarket chiefs are stockpiling beer, cider and sun cream as the min heat wave sweeps in. Sainsbury's predict a 300% rise in demand for sun cream and a 100% increase in sales of fake tan over the next couple of days, so punters can look ready bronzed in the sunshine. They also estimate 70% more sales of beer and cider, a 30% uplift in rosé wine and a 150% increase in demand for ice cream. And as the barbecue gets dusted down for the first time this year, the supermarket believes sales of vegan and vegetarian food will soar by 130%. A Sainsbury's spokesperson said, It seems the whole country has been eagerly awaiting the warmer weather, and we're expecting our customers to celebrate the return of sunshine by bronzing with fake tan, cooling down with ice cream and firing up the barbecue. The high temperatures will not just be confined to one part of the country, with 68F70F. 20C 21C, expected in Newcastle, 64F66F. 18C 19C, in Northern Ireland and 63F, 17C, in Glasgow. Dozens of firefighters had to put out a fire the size of a football pitch as temperatures across the country soared today. Engines were called to the scene above Dovestone Reservoir in Greater Manchester at around 2.40 p.m. Firefighters are using helicopters to dump water from above as they bid to get the blaze under control. Ella Stacey, 27, who works at nearby Another Way Associates, said. She said, It was right next to the path, which was really busy. When I first saw it the fire was the size of a few cars. A few minutes later it was the size of a football pitch. Five minutes after that and it was very, very big. What was scary is it was so close to the picnic area, you could hear it crackling. Met Office meteorologist Mark Wilson said, It's going to be a pretty nice day, it will be a slow start in places with cloud first thing. But by mid afternoon, there will be lots of unbroken sunshine. Thursday could see even higher temperatures, 7780F, 25C, 27C, in the southeast, as warm air continues to come up through Spain and onto the UK.
Saturday could see isolated showers in parts, while there is uncertainty about what Sunday's weather will bring. Experts predict these warm conditions are likely to last for the rest of the month, with changeable conditions continuing in the northwest, while the southeast still has some decent dry and bright spells. Toasty temperatures will even be higher than those in Malibu, Athens, and Rome. The start of the week should see warm weather in the south and the east, but the north and west have a high risk of rain and wind. The southeast can expect the best conditions in the country with the northwest seeing the bleakest. The African plume differs to the Spanish plume the UK experienced last summer which brought with it temperatures of 77 F, 25 C. A Spanish plume is caused by cool Atlantic air being pushed towards Spain, which in turn pushes warm Spanish air towards the UK, bringing with it hot humid weather. What a difference a month makes, incredible photos from the same spot show a very different Britain just six weeks ago these incredible now and then photos show just what a different a month makes with Britons enjoying the hottest April day for 70 years yesterday, compared with chilling snow scenes taken just six weeks ago from the same spot, London's little Venice bathed in sunshine on the hottest April day for 70 years yesterday, and last month coated in snow cyclist enjoying a blissful ride through Clapham Common on April 19th, the hottest April day for 70 years, but was a very different picture on March 1st a wonderful afternoon stroll through Clapham Common with the glorious sun overhead yesterday, and pedestrians trekking through snow and ice on March 1st sun lovers out in force on Clapham Common yesterday, and braving the elements on March 1st.